category in the same fashion because we might have more liabilities in there. So I'm going to call this then total long-term liabilities. Check. And then we'll say that equals that zero. Put an underline there because we need to emphasize it. A line underneath, also known as the underline. Home tab, alignment, indentation. Once again, alignment, indentation. That's going to give us the total liability, liabilities, IES. Summing it up, once again, the trusty sum function. Trusty sum, once again, coming to our rescue. Rescue us sum function, font group, underline, and then we got the total. Hold on a second. Then we got the equity, equity section. Equity, we're going to have just a sole proprietorship, so we only got that one basically account. If it was a sole proprietor, we're going to call it equity. You might call it capital, but uh, also, or owner's equity, you might call it. And if it was a if it was a corporation, you might have retained earnings and then common stock breaking those two things out. But total equity you could think about as kind of like the same. Remember that equity kind of represents what the owner has in the company, or in other words, what the assets allocated to the owners in essence is as opposed to, as opposed to third party liabilities. And then you have to think about how you're going to break that out amongst the owners, which if there's only one, which would be a capital account. But if there's like two or more partnership, for example, you got to break it out between the partners to say who has claim, you know, and so on. And then if it's a, if the corporation, then you got shares that are basically all the same kind of ownership distribution. So you could just call it retained earnings, one chunk, which the shares represent a uniform chunk of it. And then the common stock, which is basically the investment versus the earnings that have been accumulated and retained. All right. So let's make this paintbrush that one. Pulling out the paintbrush and putting it in the blue bucket. Home tab, paintbrush, put some blue on it. Put some blue. That's a wonderful looking blue. And we're just going to paint that right there. Woo, that's nice. Okay, so then we're going to say this is going to be the equity account. Equity account. I'm just going to put this right in the right in the total column because I don't need any subcategories here because we only got one equity account. So I'll just put that in the total. And we might just call it total equity. I'll just keep it with equity. And then we're going to say the total is going to be the total liabilities and equity. Summing this up, we're going to sum this up then, which is going to be equals the SUM sum function of the 15,000 and the 8396, which should equal this number when we're done. This is... So a little suspense here before I hit enter. Little suspense. Hold on. Here we go. And there it, it did. It did it. It did just what we saw, just what we planned it should do. The very thing we planned to happen has indeed actually happened. What a coincidence. So I'm going to underline here font group and underline. And then let's put an underline, a double underline here by going to the font group and double underline that one. So that looks good. Is there any more formatting stuff? I can put an underline here. Let's put the double double D underline here. And then the one underline there. So that looks good. And then that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Is there anything I'm missing? Do you guys see something I'm I'm missing? I probably misspelled something, right? Let me check my spelling. See if it says I misspelled something. I'm gonna say ignore ignore that. I don't think that's a problem. Spell check says it's okay. All right, that's good enough for me. And then we're going to make this uh, blue. Let's make this blue for font sake, for formatting sake. Font group, we'll put the borders around it, all the borders, all border. And then the blue, which is that blue right there, which I can find right here by going to that blue, just like the accounting is fun or the Excel is fun guy used to say. And then I can move this one over. I can put that on my paintbrush paintbrushy that one right here let's paintbrush this one over paintbrush that black to right there and let's make this our blue and bordered blue and border font group border blue border blue and then do that here border blue border blue there we've got that and then let's put this let's put this balance sheet in the middle so i can put it in the middle by selecting this whole thing 
And we could go to the home tab alignment and do that, which is what most people would do. But then you got that one large cell, which messes other things up sometimes. So I don't recommend it personally. I'm going to undo that. The better way, mucho mejor, is going to go down to the format cells here when you got that whole thing selected. Alignment, as we've seen in the past, the horizontal alignment, a center across the selection and OK. There it is. So we get kind of a similar result. So there we have it. And we can double check that to this trial balance if you, if you formatted this trial balance this way, which is the best way to do it personally, if I do say so myself. And that means that you can add this whole thing up and see that you're in balance. You can add these up and just say that that confirms what's in my asset uh, area. And then we've got the liabilities, which I can confirm here, which is quite easy because there's only one account in it. And you can see that the liabilities and equity, if I sum them up, 23,396 adds up to the 23,396. I don't need to do any adding and subtracting. Subtract one column from the other column and blah, blah. It's really easy if you set it up this in this debits positive, credits negative on the trial balance to then convert that to the financial statements, being able to check every subtotal along the way very, you know, much more easily than you could if you had them broken out with this basically two columns or in this worksheet would have six columns, right? And then you got to add them together the debits and credits and so on.